Hey guys, welcome back to the Dark Tube. And before we get started, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now we are continuing from the previous video where we did what is a polynomial and addition, subtraction of polynomials. So now we're going to get into the actual video. Okay, so now we're going to be doing multiplication. So if we're given f of x is equal to 5x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 1 and g of x is equal to 3x squared minus 5x plus 6 and we're told for part a to find f of x times g of x and for part b to find 3 times f of x minus 4 times g of x. So first we're going to find f of x g of x. So first we have to put what f of x is and then we have to multiply it by what g of x is. Okay, so now because we're multiplying, what we have to do, we have to multiply each term in the first bracket by each term in the second bracket. So what that means is, first we have to say 5x cubed times this, then times it by this, then times it by this. So that gives us 15 x to the 5 minus 25x to the 4 plus 30x cubed. Then we have to go and say minus 4x squared times this. Then we have to times it by this. Then we have to times it by this. So that's minus 4x squared times 3x squared and that gives us minus 12x to the 4. Then we have minus 4x squared times minus 5x. That gives us positive 20. Then we have minus 4x squared times 6. That gives us minus 24x squared. Then we have to go and say 2x times this, times this, and times this. So that's 2x times 3x squared. That gives us positive 6x cubed. 2x times minus 5x, that gives us negative 10x squared. 2x times 6, that gives us positive 12x. Then we have to go to the 1, so that, that times that, that times that, and times that. We have minus 1 times 3x squared, that gives us minus 3x squared. Minus 1 times 5x, that gives us positive 5x. Minus 1 times positive 6, that's minus 6. Now what we have to do is group our like terms and simplify. Okay, so we could arrange and say 15x to the 5 minus 25x to the 4 minus 12x to the 4 plus 30x cubed plus 20x cubed. plus 6x cubed minus 24x squared minus 10x squared minus 3x squared plus 12x plus 5x minus 6. So all we need to do now is just simplify and we'll get our final answer. So we have 15x to the 5, then we have minus 25 minus 12, that gives us minus 37x to the 4. Then we have plus 30 plus 20 plus 6, and that gives us positive 56x cubed. Then we have minus 24 minus 10 minus 3. That gives us minus 37x squared. Then we have 12x plus 5x. That gives us 17x. And then we have the minus 6 by itself. So that would be a final answer. So the next question said we're supposed to find 3f of x minus 4g of x. So that means we're multiplying f of x by 3 first. Minus 4 times whatever g of x is. So that's 3 times 5x cubed, that's 15x cubed, minus 3 times 4x squared, that's minus 12x squared, 3 times 2x, that's plus 6x, 
3 times minus 1, that's minus 3. Then we have negative 4 times 3x squared, that's minus 12x squared. Minus 4 times minus 5x, that's positive 20x. Minus 4 times positive 6, that's minus 24. Then we can group our like terms. It gives us 15x cubed minus 12 minus 12, that's minus 24x squared. 6 plus 20, that's positive 26x. Minus 3 minus 24, that's minus 27. And that would be the answer. Okay, so let's say we're given f of x is equal to 2x minus 1, g of x is equal to x plus 4, and h of x is equal to 3x plus 2. And we're told to find f of x times g of x times h of x. So that means we're saying 2x minus 1 times x plus 4 times 3x plus 2. So what we'll do first is we'll multiply these two brackets first to make life easier. So that's 2x times x, that gives you 2x squared. 2x times 4, that gives you plus 8x. Minus 1 times x, that's minus x. Minus 1 times 4, that's minus 4. Then you could simplify your bracket, so that would be 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. All right, so you could simplify your bracket, and you get 2x squared plus 7x minus 4, and you have to multiply that by 3x plus 2. So 2x squared times 3x, that's 6x cubed. 2x squared times 2, that's 4x squared. 7x times 3x, that's plus 21x squared. 7x times 2, that's plus 14x. Minus 4 times 3x, that's minus 12x. Minus 4 times 2, that's minus 8. So you simplify and you get 6x cubed plus 25x squared. 14 minus 12, that gives you plus 2x minus 8. And that would be a final answer. Okay, so for polynomial identity, what that is saying is that the left-hand side has to balance the right-hand side. So here, if you look at the x cubed term, you realize that 7 is equal to a. That means a is 7. If you look at the x squared terms, 4 is equal to b, so b is 4. And for the x term, c is equal to minus 3. And for the constant, you have d is equal to 6. So that's what the polynomial identity is about. Okay, so you can get a question like this and so without working it out, you should tell what is A, what is B, what is C, what is D, what is E. In order to find A, you have to determine what is the x to the fourth. So if you look carefully, if you multiply this by this, you get 6x to the four. That would be the only thing that you would get with x to the four. That means A is 6. Okay, so if you multiply your x squared by your x term, you get x cubed. So that would be 3x squared times minus 3x, that would give you minus 9x cubed. And again, you can see that x term times x squared would give you a x cubed again. So that would be 5 times 2, that gives you plus 10x cubed. So if you simplify that, you would get x cubed, 1x cubed. So that means b would be equal to 1. Then it says x squared. So for c, it would be a single times a single. So you get 5x times minus 3x. That would give you minus 15x. And if you multiply an x squared by a constant, you get another x squared. So that would be 3 4 12 x squared. And again, a squared by a constant. So that would be 2 times 2, that's minus 4x squared. If you add all of these together, 
that minus 15 plus 12, that minus 3, minus 4, that gives you C to be minus 7. So we got A to be 6, B to be 1, and C to be minus 7 so far. Then it asks you for the X term. So X times the constant, so that's 5 times 4, that's 20X. And constant times a single x, so that's positive 6x. And then e is the constant. So you can only get a constant if you multiply a constant by a constant. So that's minus 2 times positive 4, that gives you minus 8. So e is minus 8. Then 